Hello, in this video we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of x. Let's go ahead and work through it very carefully. Solution. So the hypotenuse is this side here. It's the one that's opposite the 90 degree angle. So the Pythagorean theorem says that the hypotenuse squared, which in this case is 13 squared, is equal to x plus 7 squared plus x squared. And you can write it differently. It's basically the length of the hypotenuse squared is equal to the length of this side squared plus the length of this side squared. All right, we can multiply this out. 13 squared is 169. There's a trick for multiplying this out. You square the first one. You multiply these and double them. 7 times x is 7x times 2 is 14x. You square the 7, 49, plus x squared. Let's go ahead and combine like terms and move all this stuff over here on the left. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared plus 14x plus 49 equals 169. The goal is to solve this equation, and because it's a quadratic equation, we want to set equal to, equal to 0. So if we subtract 169 from both sides, these go away, so we get 2x squared plus 14x. 49 minus 169 is minus 120, and that's equal to 0. Now we can clean this up a little bit because we can divide everything by 2. That will make it a little bit easier to factor. So we have x squared plus 7x minus 60, and that's equal to 0. Now we can factor this. Should look something like this. x times x is x squared. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 60 and add to 7. So looks like 12 and 5 should do it. 12 times 5 is 60. Let's make the 5 negative and the 12 positive, and let's check x times x is x squared, 12 times negative 5 is negative 60, 12x minus 5x is 7x, right? The middle, the inner and the outer, right? The inner and the outer should add to this here. So 12x plus negative 5x is 7x. You have a product equal to 0, you set each factor equal to 0. Oops. All right, and then we solve for x, so we get negative 12, or x equals 5. But x can't be negative, so the answer is x equals 5. Right? It can't be negative because it's the length of the side of a triangle. So that's how you use the Pythagorean theorem to find the value of x. Hopefully that has helped someone out there in the world. Take care.